All right, let's talk downforce. So this is the car. This is a lot of numbers, which I don't really understand. Um, but I do know a person who does. Carl from uh, Race Car Wings. Um, you? Hi, Ilya. Hello, <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, very stilted at the moment, trying to talk to YouTube. <laughs> it, 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 it takes time to get used to it. Right, you all probably remember my old custom wing that we've made here. Well, it's been made here twice. First time by Carl by himself and the second time when we actually fully repaired it. Uh, because remember, they are fully repairable because we have all the bits. We're going to be making a new one, slightly jumping ahead. So then, yeah, we had to repair it because the, the carrier has completely ruined it. Anyways, this is the, the Gen 1 uh, wing that Carl designed a couple of years ago. And it's been on my car for two seasons now, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been I, yeah, yeah, it's been two seasons now. So I think it produces plenty of downforce because it's actually been bending where the main mount underneath the main rib, one of those things, sits. Rib, rib. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I do know the terminology. So this wing is um, from the top of my head. I should have come up with a little list of numbers. I think it's uh, almost 1700 millimeters long 1640 or 16 something like that obviously all the mounting is kind of custom um, custom hardware we've designed those um, uh, mounts to suit my clear because before i had a drs and everything but now i don't have drs but we're still kind of left with the mounts and actually Carl produced me a number of those different sizes to be able to space the wing back and forward to give it a little bit more leverage to get a bit more downforce with the same amount of drag blah 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 this is actually how I know about Cal. I found him years and years ago when I was looking for a wing and uh, when I was first trying to make one, I was thinking, right, I'll just sort of reuse whatever old wing, used wing. And he actually sells and sources prehistoric, well, not prehistoric, but classic ancient whatever wings and, you know, like things like this from Formula cars and stuff. I mean, he has a full rack and he probably has more in storage. So if you're looking for one, you know, top man to get in contact, he has plenty of different historic profiles. I think everything is repairable. Ooh, those are really nice carbon wings. Look at that. Jesus, that's some crazy profile. You're probably asking, what are you doing here? You already have a wing. Well, introducing Gen 2 race car wings. Uh, Ultralight. Ultralight, what's the name of the profile? Uh, well, it's a benzene profile. Benzene profile, whatever that means. I've been sold an idea by Cal. He's like, hey, I can make you a wing which is lighter, produces more downforce, and just overall better. And I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to be making a new wing. This old wing is going to go onto the ladder because I love this wing. It absolutely works. It looks sick, especially with plates. And I'll probably make new plates for this one. But again, jumping ahead. So today we are at uh, Carl's workshop and we're going to be making this new wing. He already made all the designs in the cat because obviously he has all the dimensions and everything. So we have all those ribs and they're, they're visibly lighter because the, the old ones, they were quite, quite a bit thicker and they were much simpler shape. So those I see you've actually spend more time designing all the sort of different ribs and A-frame on yeah, the inside. Yeah, so this is, I suppose this is really Gen 2.5. Uh, oh, wow. This okay. is a tuna wing and it was part of a set of wings. That being the smallest, 225. This being the biggest, actually. It's the same profile, but this is 460 yeah. millimeters. Jesus. So it's the same profile. Um, and from those five wings, I took a lot of learning and I wasn't happy with the smallest wing. It's the baby is difficult to make. Really, the smaller the wing, they the yeah. Wing. Okay, so I didn't know that. But I also found my boot lid wing, which is it was the same size. So it, this one didn't really have a place in the range. So I wanted yeah. to make something better that yeah. fits in the range. So we've gone to 265 millimeter profile. So is the 260 the smallest profile for this new gen wing, or the you have different width? Uh, well, it's. It, the, your one was 225, so this is okay. Sorry, 220, so this is 45 mil bigger. Okay, your, your wider. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, because Ilya wanted it to weigh less. Always weight is is uh, a killer. I just went through every single thing, and 
yeah, as Ilya says, it's visibly thinner. Yeah. Everything's gone thinner, gone down to M5 bolts, and we pulled a lot of weight out. The other thing that we've done um, is by going to a different size tube, you can buy a thinner tube. So oh, really? although this tube is a larger diameter, oh wow, it, it's a lot thinner wall. It so definitely is. Yeah, I remember the old one because it was a smaller diameter. Yeah, and then because that's how. If you don't remember, that's how. I mean, you obviously will see how we assemble it, but. The, the idea is that you have those ribs and then you have the tube, the main reinforcement, the main sort of structure, uh, the rib as you, you will, goes through the inside and then that positions everything in the sort of horizontal plane and then over it you have a, sh well, thin sheet of aluminium. It can be composite material and I know somebody asked me before like why is your wing not carbon? The weight difference is negligible and to I mean, me this is the point. 0.8 to a millimeter thick aluminium. Yeah. So it's weighs. Yeah. So it, it weighs. It weighs hardly anything. And to get the same sort of strength from carbon, because it has to be sort of flexible, it, it's more expensive to get the flexible resin, and then you have to drape it. And it's just it's a little bit more complicated to save 300 grams, and you know, cost-wise as well. And plus, this one is a lot easier to repair if you need to repair it. Yeah. With carbon, you know, once it's cracked, it's whatever. But with aluminium, look. All it does is just bends a little bit. So for certain things, aluminium is still better because it has this kind of elasticity, so to speak. What we've got here is what I call stage one of the process, which is a kit of parts I've already prepped before Ilya got here because I don't think anyone wanted to see an hour of me drilling holes. Um, we've got two mounts. These come water jet cut. Uh, I've already drilled these ready for fitting. We've got six ribs, which is split into three different types. We've got the mount ribs, which are drilled and tapped, ready for the mounts to fit to. We've got the end ribs, which are tapped on the end, ready for the uh, end plate mounting holes. And then we've got the mid ribs, which are just plain as they come. Then we've got the, uh, the spar, which is the main part of the skeleton, the gurney flap, these are both cut to 1.8 millimeter, uh, 1.8 meters, as uh, Ilya wanted, and then skin, which has also been cut to 1.8 meters. So, first stage is we're going to make the skeleton, which is the ribs onto the spar, and then the skin, which is the gurney flap, onto the aluminium sheet. So we'll make those two sections first, and then stage three is to skin it and stage four is to then trim the edges and finish it off basically. 450 grams each. So two of those is obviously, obviously almost a kilogram just for those. All right, let's weigh the wing itself. So we got 4.1 kilos. I think we're going to be around 3.6 with the new one. And, 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 it's not just the length, it's the width. Because this yeah. is a two, 220 and the new one is going to be wider. So wider, longer, less weight. I mean, that's a win-win, isn't it? First job is we're going to manufacture the skin, which is basically just fitting the gurney flap to the back of the skin so it supports the skin while we're rolling it. Thank you. 
end plate is 350 grams the last wing with end plates was 4.1 kilograms that would make it 3.4 so this is less than 3.4 and we saved weight. yeah if it's less than 3.4 we saved weight it's bigger longer wider let's let's see ready yeah It's 3.5, so it's 100 grams heavier. But how much bigger is it? We it's can do the it's, it's, uh, Do the math, I want to know the math. Because if you think about it, those are 350 and they're carbon Kevlar. So the weight of this wing being bigger, it's only 30% of the weight of this single end plate. Carl is doing some crazy math, trying to figure out the percentage increase in size. We got 1.8 times 0.2. So we increase the size of the wing by 30% and we only increase the weight of it by 2%. I reckon that's an absolute win win, whichever way you look at it. <laughs> so, as a comparison, you can tell, well, I can tell that it's wider, as in longer, significantly. It's span. And it's. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, it's wider. Actually, you know what? The camera doesn't sort of give it whatever, but the math checks out. It's 30% larger overall area. And it's a better profile, isn't it? Yeah. It's a better profile. This is the new one. The new, the new profile. So, yeah, quite incredible. So the next step is, Massive. it's gonna be wrapped. Well, mounted to the real race car. Let's check it. I was going to say, you need to stop messing with these small wings early. Yeah. It's not a proper wing. Yeah, I mean, it's still tiny compared to your <laughs> wing, really. Um, yeah, the next step is a trip to my friends at Kelsey and ask them nicely to wrap it again, because obviously this one has been wrapped. Also, Cal actually offers me, we've been talking about it, and that he actually prefers to sell them as powder coated with a little bit of extra obviously for, for cause but they look absolutely mint when they're powder coated guys thank you it's been a pleasure having you watching this stuff um, yes, guys if you want the wing this man all the links in the description follow him on instagram and everything um he can make you pretty much any custom size you want he has different preset width and length on the website yeah. but you can have anything you want I you mean, can, help you, me clear out this pile of wings I've got Like I said before, <laughs> he has all these sort of uh, old school, prehistoric, classic wings that are obviously for sale. I mean, anything is for sale for the right price, right? Yeah, anyone wants a Nissan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hardcore Nissan Time Attack slash Thunders. Um, incredible, very happy with my new wing. Hopefully this will bring us more downforce with less drag. Well, we know it's gonna happen and uh, plenty of uh, wings, so 
that's it for me and Cal, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.